Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at dividing decimals word problems. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's go to question number one here. Question number one, we've got a group of friends that traveled 120.3 Ks on road trip, making 15 stops along the way. What was the average distance covered between each stop? So we got 120.3 divided by 15. All right, so when we do this, we get 120.3 divided by 15. It's the number of stops. So we're looking at an average of 8.02 kilometers. Then we're looking at question number two. Question number two, Sarah's clocked in 40.6 Ks from five trips. And we wanna know what's uh, our daily commute. So we've got 40.6 and that is divided by five. And so we're gonna get 8.12 kilometers. Now, as always, folks, I'm going to give you some time to try and do these three questions and uh, we'll go through it very shortly. All right. So question three, we've got 200.5 kilometers and that's divided by eight drop offs. So what was the average distance? We're going to go 200.5 divided by eight should have been eight. Now, here is where things get interesting right now. We've got kilometers. So if it's kilometers, then we need to go up to three decimal places. Now that's because a thousand meters is one kilometer. So in this case, we are gonna go with 25.063 kilometers. All right, let's have a look at question four. Question four is 36.9, and that's divided by nine runs. So 36.9 divided by nine is gonna give us 4.1 kilometers per training session. And finally, looking at question five, we've got a cycling club collectively did 180.7 Ks, uh, completing 12 laps. So that's 12 laps. And we want to figure out what each lap is worth. So we got 180.7 divided by 12. And there we go. Now we need to make sure that we round this up properly. So we've got 15.05, and I think we're gonna leave it at eight kilometers. Uh, and the reason we're not rounding up is because, you know, it's, it's after the eight, it's a three, so therefore we're not gonna round the number up. We're gonna actually round it down. So just a small sample of uh, division with decimals questions. Uh, just something to be mindful of is the rounding with these types of questions especially when you're dividing there's a higher chance for you to get recurring decimals uh, so you just need to make sure that you round appropriately all right folks that is basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content now there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here great material for revision and as always thank you for watching